Hello everyone. I'm Jair Tekwami. I'm here to teach screening genetic systems. Now today, as we are discussing green buildings, green building materials, in the previous class, I addressed about the two green building materials. What are those? Timber and bamboo. In today's class, let us discuss about the ram depth and hollow blocks. Okay. So these are the ram depth parts. Ram depth. In the name itself, it is there. Rammed. Rammed means not compressor. Okay. So earth, the clay, if you take clay by ramming, we will get parts or shapes which we use in the construction of green building. Now coming to the presentation, here you can have a look of uh, rammed earth blocks which can be used in green building material, green building construction. Now, let us come into the presentation. So, ram depth, here, this is the equipment used to ram the earth. Here, you can have a look. And generally, rammed at the, where these constructions are available, you see, the sun pyramid is TOT to a con, five floor house at Wielberg, and a section of the Great Wall of China also constructed with the rammed at. Okay? Those are some examples of rammed earth building constructions. Here you can have a, a very beautiful buildings which are constructed, walls are constructed with rammed earth. Okay. And this is the rammed earth building. This is a place where in France in the 19th century. Building is constructed using ramlet concept. And the technical approach for construction of ramlet building or ramlet parts is here you can see this uh, slide. So, how to construct ramlet uh, parts? That is uh, first uh, excavation for obtaining the soil means from the earth, whatever the type of soil which is feasible to construct the rammed earth parts. That excavation, we have to dig out the soil first. That soil, how to preparation, it is almost similar like your uh, order metallurgy. Whatever the part you have to prepare, uh, that the metal or material you will make into fine powder and you will add all the additives after that you pour that powder in the mold and you do compaction and then you do sintering and all in that way powder metallurgy part can be prepared in a similar way here after digging out the clay that clay is some additives will be added to the clay so preparation of the mixture after the preparation of the mixture, clay and some other additives mixture is prepared, that we have to insert in the framework, generally it may be called mold, a framework. Okay. After inserting all this clay in the framework, we have to do compaction, some pressure you have to apply to get the required shape. So this is a basic process of preparation of rammed earth parts. So here you can see in this cycle, that uh, uh, here, 
what you can see reusing form of next project and uh, building process and building block unit and uh, uh, reusing form of future adoption reusing form of so this is somewhat uh, the cycle which is fun for the construction of a green building part and here when the within the area local material at the timber stabilizers what still will be added in the uh, clay in the clay they can add some timber timber powder and uh, stabilizers some stabilizers also will be added in the clay and the local workforce appropriate skills art uh, artisans so uh, for this uh, many so, so much skilled labor is not necessary so local workforce is enough that is the advantage of this uh, rammed earth construction and here you can have a look of this uh, rammed earth how they do so here you can see a framework here this is a frame and the person is ramming the clay inside it so that the wall will be constructed and using rammed earth you can construct a, a 500 mm thick wall also thick wall and 300 mm 200 mm interior walls internal walls also you can construct okay and the the compression strength of this uh, rammed earth is uh, uh 4.3 megapascal compression strength okay so that is some more information about the uh, rammed earth construction here you can have a uh, wall constructed of rammed earth very high thickness right and what is the comparison between uh, rammed earth and uh, normal concrete uh, cement brick pillar system here you can see feature rammed earth building and cement or brick pillar system whereas thermal insulation is concerned rammed earth warm in winter and cool in summer warm in winter that's what we required right so in winter we we need so much warm and cool in summer very convenient and there is cement or brick pillar system to construct for the house then cold in winter and hot in summer basically summer will be hot or cold uh, winter will be cold and humidity he concerned it's comfortable year around and humidity in monsoon humid in monsoon okay it's not whereas rammed earth building is uh, so much comfortable throughout the year and uh, humidity in monsoon means uh, during rainy season so much humidity will be there earthquake resistance if an earthquake came it is uh, because some uh, flexibility is there in the rammed earth earthquake resilient and generally uh, cement or brick pillar system construction often poorly built okay so this is a little comparison between cement or brick pillar system and the rammed earth buildings okay here the advantages of uh, rammed earth housing so you can see that rammed earth has excellent thermal qualities the previous slide also you see that excellent thermal properties means it heats up slowly because it is clay uh, it heats up slowly so that by evening it will be very hot okay and the thickness and density of the walls lends itself naturally to sound proofing so uh, this rammed earth building walls don't allow the sound outside obviously uh, as clay is fireproof and uh, virtually the dirt fireproof and uh, economically viable means uh, rammed earth because uh, we are digging out the clay and we are manufacturing the walls and everything so it is uh, in economical and of course it is energy efficient 
and allows more air exchange than concrete structure. Allows more air exchange. As a material allow the building to breathe, means uh, it is a ram adapter, allow the building to breathe. Okay. This avoids condensation issues inside the people, uh, issues without significant heat loss. Right. And the materials are uh, readily available and relatively cheap. So the all the parts, whatever, whichever uh, uh, you need to construct a rammed earth wall, so initially material, you made it available and you do preparation. So material is readily available and relatively cheap. Clay is cheap, no? so abundant amount of clay is available. So, and resistance to termites, that is one of the advantage and can be used to build and design earthquake resistant buildings. As in the previous slide also, I told uh, the ramadic buildings are earthquake resistant. Coming to the disadvantages and uh, uh, these ramadic buildings uh, um, in heavy rain, heavy rain, we have to cover with uh, uh, some rainproof materials all the way and uh, it is a not a good insulator as the ramadan often requires insulation in colder climates so when cold very wet condition because it is clay it will become moist moisture will increase and uh, similar to brick and concrete buildings uh, of course it's more than brick and concrete building and uh, the wetness of the clay and you lose more exchange than concrete structures as the material allow the building to breathe. Of course, this is all I, we already addressed in the previous slide. And uh, can be used in wetter climates, but, but uh, must be protected from heavy rain by an overhanging roof. Means uh, some rainproof roof we have to uh, arrange when heavy rain is falling. You can see in the picture heavy rain. So overhanging roof must be there to protect all the walls. So these are the disadvantages of ramad construction buildings. Okay. So that is the uh, presentation about ramad. Now let us uh, discuss about hollow blocks. Hollow blocks. Okay. So hollow blocks, concrete hollow blocks. Here you can have a look of uh, coming to the introduction. And uh, hollow blocks, concrete we are discussing. It is a concrete mercenary unit, TMU. Also called a concrete block, a cement block, and a foundation block. So this uh, hollow block is also called foundation block, cement block. The concrete block. Okay. Concrete blocks are made from concrete as cast concrete. An example uh, Portland cement is used uh, and aggregate uh, usually sand and fine gravel for high density blocks. So you know how, how the bricks are uh, manufactured, right? Sand, clay, cement, all this mixture together, they pour in a mold and uh, after allowing it to solidify or uh, allowing it to dry, we get our bricks, right? So this is how we prepare hollow bricks. And what is here, uh, the first slide, concrete masonry unit. What is masonry? What is the definition of masonry? That is any building material made of stone is called masonry. And it is used for walls. And there are two types of masonry are there. One is the structured or load bearing and non-structured or non-load bearing, okay? Structural or load, load bearing is used for exterior walls and non-structured or non-load bearing is used for interior walls, okay? And uh, yeah, here you can have a look of this uh, parts of masonry unit, how they prepare. Here, this is a core because we need hollow, this is a core. And uh, structure or facial here this is a shell and here the header, weber. Where is the header? This is a weber. 
between and the head will be there here with and right these are the parts of the hollow brick where we and has will be so inside this we pour all the cement concrete granules sand and all and these are the different types of walls we are constructing using uh, hollow blocks mm -hmm. using hollow blocks we are preparing running wall and uh, this is a running wall means uh, uh, bricks are all of all same size and arranging like this uh, arranging pattern is like this running is called running uh, masonry you know. and uh, this is a common or american In american walls if you see that uh, Uh, they arrange uh, big bricks uh, one row and uh, small bricks another row and so the, this variation will be like this element of hollow bricks and flemish bricks means uh, majority of uh, long bricks and uh, small small bricks combination and this is english english uh, brick arrangement and this is stacked all of same size and uh, there is no even columns also uh, aligning with each and every brick and the english cross are such so this is these are the different types of uh, uh, walls construction types here you can have a look and uh, you can copy down uh, hollow brick arrangements so point uh, main type of uh, concrete hollow blocks are the hollow load bearing concrete block here you can have a block uh, here see these uh, nowadays uh, uh, our houses are also constructing with uh, this hollow block only like in the in the previous days we used to uh Construct with the bricks, but nowadays uh, we are constructing the houses or walls, buildings uh, with the hollow blocks only. So this is one type of hollow block. You can have a look, and this is another type of block. Uh, this is solid load bearing concrete block, and uh, here hollow non load bearing concrete block. these are hollow non load bearing concrete blocks and uh, here the concrete building tiles these are concrete building tiles using in the construction of green buildings and this is a concrete brick okay and uh, other types of concrete hollow blocks if you want to see that this is stretcher block stretcher block you can see here and uh, uh corner for the construction of corner block is used for uh, corners at simple here corner blocks like that and uh, double corner or pier blocks appears like this and uh, bull nose means bull nose uh, uh, types of uh, corner blocks and jamb the jamb type of uh, hollow bricks hollow blocks so various types of hollow blocks are there here in this picture we can have a look many types of hollow blocks all these are uh, uh, mostly using in the construction of green buildings okay have a look split face block split face block with corner details an embossed brick face block so so these are all uh, different types of uh, hollow blocks so the uses uh, of this hollow blocks are uh, it's used in building and pavement okay and uh, in the usa brick pavement was uh, found incapable of withstanding heavy traffic but uh, it is uh, coming back uh, into use as a method of traffic calming so here nowadays you can see this uh, small uh, hollow blocks are using in the uh traffic uh, regulating places also even uh, on the main roads uh, dividers and uh, uh, many places these hollow blocks are constructing and these are the bricks paver blocks 
pavement, sidewalks, and this is a construction of even in the green building, stone, the masonry, stone is used. And uh, yeah, uh, so the modern concrete products, hollow blocks, are made of uh, fly ash, fly ash concrete, environmental friendly material. So we already addressed in the previous presentations also. Here you can have a look of these fly ash blocks. And uh, the fly ash, class F, class C, yeah, and fly ash, many types are there. A very interesting thing is that uh, some concrete, uh, some light transmitting concrete is also coming. Means uh, yesterday I told uh, that uh, uh, transfluence is nothing but uh, not transparent, but allows light from one side to other side. It's transfluent materials. It's a commander. So this is about uh, uh, presentation about uh, hollow blocks, right? So today we discuss about uh, two materials, that is hollow blocks and uh, Ramadan. Okay. Hope you understand. Thank you.